So guys, I have my account pulled up and I'm going to put it on the screen for you guys. So as of today, I have 57.4 um, K followers. Um, of course, I've been getting a lot of engagement on my post. So I'm going to go to the one I just posted today. So 1200, which is kind of standard. I'll, I'll get around like 1214 likes, but I've gotten and I have noticed even today that a lot of people are commenting more. So I do have more comments in here. And I am so willing to engage with people to respond back. And of course, that's my range. <laughs> um, but literally, I do think it may have some benefits, but I'm going to see. So what I really want to focus on through this whole entire thing is engagement, security, and who am I reaching out to. So... I'm going to kind of track who follows me and I'm going to track who actually starts liking my posts, reaching out, that sort of thing. I think that's going to kind of be the all be all that I want to see that this app actually works or the subscription actually works. And is it worth it? Um, and I know it's fairly new and I know it's going to be modified over time, of course. But kind of from what I'm seeing is more useful for content creators. And if you do have an individual account, which they are for, they're not for business accounts, so that, you know, that sort of thing. It's for individuals and content creators. So I think the best thing to really look out for is to see that sort of, that side. See if that side is going to boom and then go from there. So I cannot wait to give you guys updates. So I'll do another update in seven days and we will see what happens yay uh, all the fun i'll see you guys in seven days hey everybody what's up it is now day eight of having the blue verified subscription for instagram and facebook now i'm going to talk about kind of two sides that i've kind of seen one on myself and one on what I'm seeing from Instagram in itself. So I haven't really like kind of tagged, you know, really Facebook and kind of seen on that end because most of my content, most of my engagement has been to Instagram, you know, forever. I just got Facebook like literally less than six months ago. So I just kind of let things kind of transfer over. So let me first explore um, what Instagram is looking like. So... I will say overall that I have gotten a lot more people to engage with my account. I have gotten new followers as well. All right, so I have opened my page up. So as you can see, my following has went up, which is a good thing. Um, I can't tell you if those are like real followers or whatever, but it has gone up, which is a good thing. Um, let's just go to my recent post. I really haven't seen who has liked it. So 1,272. So that's pretty standard. That's pretty much the standard of what I've been seeing with most of my posts. Um, what else can I show you guys? So, okay, let's go to my professional dashboard. So I do have a content creator account. So let's see. So I haven't done a lot of other stuff here, but let's just explore. So they're not no longer doing like real payouts anymore. So that's out the way. Um, this is something that is new. And I don't know if this is on like regular account subscriptions, but I thought this was actually awesome and a way to actually help, you know, reach audiences you haven't reached before. So it gives you like audio that is like trending right now on Instagram. And this is actually helpful, especially if you're like trying to get your content out there. You know, they usually um, put up the reels that have the most, you know, um, kind of, how can I, have views, if that makes sense. And even the audio kind of helps. They also put real uh, trends as it pertains to hashtags. And some of the stuff is not really, like, things that, you know, I kind of focus on to, uh, to really think about. Um, it really looks like a lot of the hashtags, especially the reels, are really related to, like, just regular everyday stuff. So I, I'm i gonna dig a little deeper into that to kind of figure out if like there's something specifically for, you know, fitness, health, that sort of thing. So 
that's something new. Um, and this is stuff I'm just seeing right now, y'all. So y'all gotta bear with me. They have um suggested accounts you can actually look at for like inspiration, specifically with what to create, ads, uh, that sort of thing. I think this is pretty cool. Um, and I think this also has like a way of you engaging with other accounts. So me myself engaging other accounts so i like that as well um they always had guides um let's look under other helpful so facebook for creators so they have stuff for facebook how to manage comments and uh, reporting spam and abuse um let's look at so i've reached a lot of accounts um which is kind of good um i just want to look at my insights wow Look at my insights, y'all. And excuse my, what you call it. So my insights literally have went up. And engagement has went up. And total followings have went up. This is so good just for eight days in itself. But let me say something. Let me say something. Let me stop that. So let me say something. I have changed my behaviors and this is something that in research you have to make note of you just can't you know look at the focus of what you're actually researching you have to look at your own behaviors as well so what I have done I have basically changed some of my content really focusing on trying to make my content more um, attractive for my audience more attractive in a sense that it kind of mimics some other you know top content creators and fitness um fitness people on instagram and facebook and i can say like i have also been engaging more with other accounts so they can actually engage with me so as i'm kind of looking at this i wonder if getting the subscription actually is affecting my behavior because if it is affecting my behavior, I have to kind of think that's kind of spurious in a way because I'm, my first thought was, okay, if I have the subscription, then, you know, things will get better. But okay, if I have the subscription and I'm changing my behaviors to make it to where I'm actually doing everything to increase engagement, to ensure that my content is getting out there, does that have an effect as well? So now my thoughts is is that now i have to look at what i'm doing and also what the actual subscription have to offer to really kind of see what's really going on so that's day eight update so i'll be back for another update in about a week to kind of show you guys okay what's really going on but those questions need to be answered hey hey everybody we are back and it has been over a month since i have did the subscription for the meta verified blue mark on my instagram and youtube and i can honestly say that it has benefited me in this last month so today is april 30th y'all i can't believe it's april 30th already i actually signed up march 28th and i signed up way before people really really knew about it so it allowed me to actually get some of the benefits and perks a little bit earlier so let me go to my Instagram now. Um, okay. So y'all, I have grown. <laughs> I have definitely amassed some followers. I have 66.7K followers right now. Um, my posting has kind of gotten a little bit better. Um, I know what to post for Reels. Um, we get those monthly updates for Reels in itself. Um, let me, let me, um go ahead and um make sure y'all can actually see i don't know why i just did that so dumb okay uh let's do this all right y'all okay so you should be able to see my full um instagram page right now so as you see i have increased following um it has been an experience because i have been looking at other people's um posting especially those who don't have the mark because i do think the mark is for really content creators and to just let people know that you are a real person i'll get to that a little bit but yeah so you can see all my posting my posting has changed um it looks kind of different um i just am trying different things so i can attract followers so my last post which you guys can see i'm asked um 1200 likes which is pretty good more um comments also a lot more people have been reposting which has been great 
but um I, I really can't say that it all has to do with the blue mark so let me just get into some of my kind of final findings um about the meta mark so throughout this month i've kind of gotten some rude uh kind of dms from people that are like oh you just want to be famous blah 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 no that has nothing to do with it my main issue before i got the subscription was the simple fact that people kept stealing my pictures and my content and kind of naming it something else and claiming it as theirs and i didn't like that i really work hard on my content especially since i am a full-time professor on as well so it was just like i needed something pr to protect it so that was pretty much the main reason and the main reason i intend to keep it is to ensure that i have the security basis behind it so really the blue mark if you think about it you just need your id or some form of um identification for you to get verified 14.99 a month it is worth it in my opinion if you can set aside that money to actually do it each and every month second though on the flip side i can say that it does kind of inform you of different things so it'll inform you of weekly um kind of things related to reels so what's trending hashtag what's trending with the music now some of these things are i would say more so on the content creator side in a sense um so it really don't help the average person unless you kind of go in and search and kind of find where you actually fit in whether it's health fitness um youtube etc so i do find it you know very very beneficial to have that pop up um uh, every month in my um instagram um i have seen more engagement but i can't say it's all been because of the blue mark i will say that having the blue mark um has really um, brought my attention to maybe being more proactive in engagement to being more proactive and being attractive to my audience and actually finding my niche with my audience so i think um more so the blue mark has um had an impact on what i've been doing so that's kind of what i've mentioned at the beginning that i was like okay um is it really going to help or is it going to change my behaviors and i think it's done both it really has done both and um, I, I guess I'm really appreciative because it has helped with business. It has helped with um, getting my content out there, bringing new followers in to actually see it. So it has helped in that sort of sense. So I can honestly say that I will continue with this subscription. I will. Um, I think seeing it for the long run to see where I can go with it is more my drive now. But also seeing those who I engage with, those who I am attracting, and also kind of changing things to where it can benefit me to attract other individuals not just for instagram facebook but also for my fitness business as well so we're gonna see what's gonna happen within this month it is all up to you guys um if you want to do it i think more so you may think about it in a sense of do you really need it is it really worth it is it going to benefit your business is it going to benefit your content i really think the average person who has that kind of um behind them that has you know people supporting them that already had a platform i think it may not be beneficial but those who need a boost i think it can help and it has helped so it's kind of up to you guys um keep an open mind try it out if you want to um, just to kind of see the difference, you can always cancel your subscription as well. Um, I just think you really need to think about it and how it can really benefit you, your business, and what you're trying to do on Instagram and YouTube as well. Uh, not YouTube. <laughs> oh, I always want to say YouTube. <laughs> I meant uh, Facebook. Lord, that's how you know I don't use Facebook that much, but that's okay. But look into it. See how you like it. Um, I just wanted to share kind of like my one month of doing it. And it has been beneficial on my side. So hey everybody, what's up? So this is my last update with the Meta Verification subscription that gives you the blue mark. So let me just first say that I have had the blue mark since March 27th or 28th. Today is May 12th. And I've come to the conclusion that it's not really beneficial for me. So let me just roll back. So I think my behaviors have changed more so than the subscription 
has really had an impact on my content, um, my engagement as such. So I think my engagement has increased because of my behaviors. Um, I think that's because of some of the fact that I have more time. I'm not teaching in person. Most of my stuff is prepped for my summer classes. So it's not really that big of a, you know, hassle to try and engage with people. But I will say the number one thing about the meta verification subscription is that you're verified. Your account is verified. So it may seem to people that, okay, this person is a real person. I'm, you know, communicating, I'm liking, I'm engaging with a real person. Other than that, I don't see a benefit. Now, I do have a one of the strong things I'm really like upset about right now is the simple fact that people are like, Oh, you're trying to get famous, blah, blah, blah. No, this subscription has nothing to do with it. First off, I wanted to see what it was about. And second off, I wanted to see if there was any benefits on my side. Yes, my engagement has gone up. Yes, I've reached more accounts. Yes, I have increased my following. But I really think that's due to my behaviors. I don't think it has anything to do with the subscription itself. So I know it's been a short amount of time, but... When you think about it in the scheme of things, I feel like it's not beneficial for um, what I'm trying to do. Um, even with connecting, I feel like you can connect without the blue mark. And even when you do have the blue mark, or if you don't, if somebody does steal your account, you can go to um, Meta and make sure to give your ID and all that stuff. You may have jumped through a few hoops, but I just believe having the subscription and having a blue mark, I don't see... A benefit because I feel like there's other things that could come about that could help with the subscription and maybe it'll get better over time I don't know but I think um, letting it go for now and just focusing in on my content focusing on engagement pretty much doing what I'm doing right now I think that's gonna be the focus of what's going on so it was fun while it lasted it is early because I did get it like two weeks after. So maybe one day I'll get the subscription again. I feel like it's not for everybody. And I feel like it's up to you guys to decide what you, what you want to do, what you don't want to do, etc. So I'll leave that up to you guys. So thank you so much for kind of following me during this journey. I thought I was going to end it with the last video. But I decided for some reason um, to kind of like see how it went and then see if I wanted to drop my subscription. So my subscription will not renew after May 27th. So that blue check mark will be there. No. <laughs> I'm still Brittany though, y'all. I'm still Dr. Brittany. So it's up to y'all. Choose wisely. Maybe save the $15 for now and see kind of how the subscription evolves. So see you guys later. Go and like my other videos and follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, what else do I have? TikTok, all that stuff. And if you need workouts or um, need, you know, just advice, I will be opening up my um, website and really opening up for new, um, oh Lord, clients <laughs> to actually come about. So, see you guys later. <laughs>